Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with St. Luke's University Health Network, featuring doctors and chefs coming together to create healthy new menu options to be featured at their restaurants. Joining me in the kitchen today is Chef Lee Chismar of Bolite, along with Dr. James Cipolla. Welcome. Thank you. Great having you guys here. It's good to be here. What are we making today? All right, so we're gonna do a skate wing dish. Mm -hmm. um, we have some really beautiful corn. We're gonna do like a corn and pepper, almost like a, a a kind of saucy mix okay. um, and a little tomatilla salsa will be our sauce. Beautiful. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our tomatillas going. Um, what is a tomatilla? So this is kind of, it, it comes from Mexico. It uh, predates, you know, uh, uh, pre-Columbian times. Okay. Um, they call it uh, Mexican husk tomato. Nice. Um, it's in the nightshade family, same as like the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys want to take these, you can see we have the husks on there. Mm -hmm. If you just want to go ahead and start peeling some of those guys. Got it. And I'm going to just come over and do the same. So let's peel these guys up. Nice. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat, it almost reminds me around here we have uh, gooseberries or ground yeah. cherries that grow, yep. which are pretty cool. In the same family, I take it? Uh, yes. Um, all right. So we're going to come in. Um, and I'm just going to kind of rough cut these guys up really quick. Um, and as I'm doing that, if you guys want to start, Yes. Um, let's start cleaning up. These are some Hen of the Woods mushrooms, or my talking mushrooms. So when we're going to clean these guys up, literally, we're just going to break these apart. And you can kind of see we have just the, the root end or the stem there. Mm -hmm. And if you feel it, you can kind of feel that's a little woody. And the rest is very tender. Sure. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to peel that off. And if you guys want to just kind of split these in. Um, to smaller edible pieces. We'll start there and I'm gonna cut these good. guys up over here. Now Doc, do you like to cook at home? No, my <laughs> wife does all the cooking. I like to eat. Though. You're a lucky guy then. Yeah, absolutely. So what type of medicine do you practice? So I, I'm St. Luke's, I'm what's called an acute care surgeon, which is a mm -hmm. fancy name for a trauma surgeon that also right. does general surgery. So I do do elective surgery like gallbladders and hernias, but our, the crux of our team is trauma surgery, so people get injured who need a surgeon to fix their injuries. Now, what made you go into that field of medicine? You know, actually, I was going to be a pediatrician because, like, you know, when I went to the pediatrics office when I was a kid, you got a lollipop and a pretzel, <laughs> and, a, you know, they it made it's you feel best. good. But when I went to medical school, I just got bit by the bug of excitement. But you certainly have to have a special personality to want to go into that field of medicine, so good for you. Thank you. What are you working on here? You've got All the right, tomatillas so we in got the pan. the tomatillas in there, mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just going to actually... Go ahead and add a little onion to this. Okay. Um, and this will end up, we're gonna do this in either a food processor or a blender. Um, we can serve it either hot or cold. You could do this uh, a day ahead if you wanted and just have it in the refrigerator ready to go. Nice. Um, or if it's kind of a spur of the moment, a quick thing. Um, it's a, a pretty fast dish, it's very simple. Nice. Now right. could you serve this Salsa with just tortilla chips is a dip? Of course, yeah. <laughs> it's mm, it's very tasty. You guys probably snack on that at the restaurant. Yes, we do, you. for sure. And how are things over at Bolite? Uh, it's going really well. Nice. Um, we're right right in the, the thick of the end of the summer, so it gets pretty hot in the kitchen back there. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the fall. <laughs> <laughs> this is harvest season, too, so I bet you're really having a lot of fun with all the fresh oh, produce out there. This is one of my favorite times, yeah. especially as, as towards the end of summer and into... Um, into the fall harvest, it's really great. Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little oil in here. Um, and we're gonna turn up our heat. We're gonna go ahead and start with the mushrooms. Um, boy, you guys really did a, a very nice job I with those really mushrooms. Sure yeah. <laughs> we'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. And if you guys want to start with the corn next. Okay, what are we doing um, with the corn? We're going to just go ahead and take it right off the, the husk there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're actually just going to lay this towel down. Um, and you guys can, and this is going to help us catch our corn. Um, and we can just kind of bring this knife. I also like to use a serrated knife, and this is actually mm. a tomato knife. Um, but it, it sometimes helps. Uh, take those kernels right off. 
Alright, so if you guys want to go ahead and clean those guys up. That's a great technique. Go I'll let you do the honors. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> you got to get some cooking experience. Absolutely. In. But you know your way around the knife. Yeah, so. when I get home though, my wife's going to expect this. <laughs> Just tell her you have to go to work. Yeah. Do you All get right. called in uh, pretty frequently? Yeah, so we have one person on call, which is in-house 24-7. So there's always a doctor to meet at the front door. And then we have a second person who is at home who gets called in if there's uh, multiple traumas or someone's in the operating room already and mm -hmm. can't get to the trauma bay. Okay. So we have, we have quite a layer of people av available for some, anyone who comes in and gets injured. That's great. Now tell me about the Bleed Campaign. What is this? So we have a new program. It's actually sponsored by the Department of Ho uh, Homeland Safety. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is teach people and the lay public how to stop bleeding at the scene. So we're giving them lessons in tourniquets, in special um, bandages and special chemicals, teaching people just to do simple things like apply pressure. Right. So hopefully even if one or two lives can be saved before even the first responders get there. That's fantastic. Okay, right, so I have a hot pan here. Mm -hmm. um, we have a little oil in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms in okay. there. Um, and I might, I might, this burner over here is actually a little hotter, so I'm going to go ahead and switch these guys over. Now, are you looking to get some nice brown color Yeah, we want to go ahead and caramelize them a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, get some of the moisture out. Um, I can come over here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt. Um, and so as far as this dish goes, you can kind of see we're not, um, we haven't used any butter. No. It's going to be pretty straightforward, very simple flavors, nice and clean. We're just going to let all of our beautiful produce and stuff kind of speak for I itself. I love it. It's so fresh. Yes. Smells good. Mm -hmm. um, so next we just have some little uh, cherry tomatoes here. Um, you can actually use your tomato knife if All you right. just want to come in here and just kind of have some of these guys. You, and you probably only have to do half of those. Half okay. of those. Half of a half. Yeah. And this is really peak tomato season too and these look beautiful. Um, so now I'm just going to pick a little bit of these uh, cilantro sprigs. Okay. This will be for our salsa which we're, we're getting pretty close there. Uh, to being completed. So you're not really trying to brown any of this here? No. Okay. And you can sometimes if you have a grill at home, mm -hmm. it's actually really great just to cut them up, a little oil, char them on the grill for nice. a second. It comes out really brown. great. A little smoky flavor yeah. too. Um, so next I'm just going to come in and add a little squeeze of lime. Nice. All and right. the tomatillos are pretty acidic as They're is, They're very right? acidic. And so I feel like sometimes cooking them helps bring it down. You could do it with fresh, okay. um, but I feel like when you cook the, uh, you cook them down, you help develop the sugar a little bit, right. and it takes Tains the edge off a little bit. bit. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so next we are, you can see we have some really beautiful color there. Yeah, very nice. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Um, the salt actually helps pull out some of that moisture to help caramelize it a little bit better, and of course adds a little bit of flavor. Great. If you guys wanna go ahead and dump your corn in there, you can use the towel. Just be careful when you pick it up that it you get yeah. spill out. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of slide it right in. The whole world's right. watching here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very well Beautiful. done. Beautiful. Very nice. Um, so we are just about there on um, our salsa. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, the cilantro to it. And then we basically can kind of turn this off. Okay. Um, I have a little pepper here. And I'm just going to add one more little pinch of salt. That's a cool pepper mill, too. Yeah. I have to point that out. You always bring the neatest stuff with you. I love it. I have had it for a long time. It's funny, when you're a younger cook, I feel like you get every piece of equipment possible. <laughs> and then as you get older, you're left with your pepper mills and one yeah, or two Yeah, I knives. think it's great. Yeah. I think it's awesome. All right. So tell me about the hero celebration. So the Night of Heroes, so as much as we do see some tragedy, we actually see some triumphs. So every year we pick two patients who really beat the odds and came in and everyone expected them to have a very bad outcome and they had a miraculous wow. outcome. And what we do is we highlight the entire team to try and show the world that it's not just myself and my partners, there's hundreds and hundreds of people Absolutely. that have to come together to save a single life. So you see people see uh, nurses and therapists and people from the blood banks and the lab that you wouldn't normally associate with the trauma yeah. and see how important and integral they are to saving that life and we bring them all together and we have a huge celebration right here in Bethlehem. That's really so fantastic because as you said people always associate a trauma center with trauma. Right. So to be able to highlight those triumphs is really fantastic. Absolutely. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen.
We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. Okay, right. so if you want to go ahead and add the tomatoes uh, right into to that set. Corn. Yep. All right. Um, and we're going to go ahead and grab our skate out. Uh, it's, it's in, in the, the refrigerator. Um, and that's one of those things, even for, um, even for a TV show, <laughs> we want to keep the skate cold. Definitely. <laughs> um, Always important with fish. Yeah. So let me just come over real quick. We're just going to add our, a few ingredients here. Um, this, I added a little garlic. Um, we have just some, these are uh, sweet onions. We're going to add those guys in. Um, I have, these kind of peppers are, are pretty neat here. Um, They're very pretty. Yeah, so I have some shishitos. Mm -hmm. I have some sweet, uh, just a sweet red pepper. Okay. And this is actually, uh, I believe the name is habanito. Mm. Uh, and so it is habanero pepper without the spice. Love it. With all the flavor. Nice, because they have that real fruity kind of yeah. citrusy taste. If you want to go ahead, just give that a try. And I'm always worried when I do this wow. that someone in my kitchen has switched up the wrong one. Yeah, right. They <laughs> but, look like they're going to be hot. They yeah, smell yeah. like they're going to be hot. Well, and I always they're find not. as soon as yeah, I taste one, comes. I start to sweat. Yeah. Pretty good with that just knife. Like, He's pretty good with that knife. You could change careers. I think you'd yeah? be a yeah. surgeon. Yeah. Absolutely. Lee has some of the best knife skills I've ever seen. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Talk guys. about your, your back slice technique that you're doing. So this is, um, we actually, if you have a very nice knife, it's very sharp. Um, the back slice is a technique um, where you're allowing the knife to do the work to slice through the cells of whatever you're cutting, as opposed to sometimes this motion, mm -hmm. uh, when you don't have such a sharp knife, can actually tear the cells. So when we do things like garlic, we'll actually cut that to order. Um, Which is, I have to say, insane for a restaurant <laughs> right. to do that. <laughs> um, but it's kind of amazing. I feel like sometimes when you look at it and you see how much garlic that I've sliced and put in, mm -hmm. I feel like people would be like, man, you know, that's going to be a ton of garlic, but because you're using the back slice and a sharp knife, it doesn't um, kind of overpower a dish. All right. Very so, technical. <laughs> I like so we're yeah. just about uh, here on this. I'm just going to squeeze a little lime juice in it. Um, and I'm just going to check our seasoning, see where we're at. Um, let me go ahead and pass a little of the cilantro over. Okay. And we can just pick a couple of those guys. Now, why did you add the peppers more towards the end rather than in the beginning of cooking? Well, I don't want to kind of destroy them. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see the dish is really beautiful. You can see all those colors. Yeah. We don't want to cook it too much, so we're pretty much to the point where we can actually turn the heat off. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to add one more shishito here. So you just really want to maintain the color, the texture. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to stop the heat. Um, and then something else that I've done over here... Um, so whenever you see, sometimes you'll see like a lime or a lemon or a grapefruit su uh, supreme mm -hmm. on the menu. And I feel like a lot of times people don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, but basically what we've done is I've taken the peel off. Um, and we come in here, you just cut the ends off. And then you can work your way around with the knife. Um, and then it's kind of cool if you just follow the peel mm -hmm. as you turn it, you can go ahead and get a really beautiful... Uh, peel this lime. So you and just then, want to expose all the flesh, right. basically. Um, and then let's come over and we'll take our salsa and get it into um, our blender over here. All right. So from you here, that? sure. You got, you got yeah, it. Yeah, I got it. Thank all right. Um, so whenever you put anything hot in a blender, you also want to be very careful that you have a little bit of a vent um, because when you turn it on, the heat and the steam rise, so it can explode very quickly in your face. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> right. I'm right here for you. I'm <laughs> yeah. here for you. Don't worry about so it. So we're just going to kind of pulse this up a little bit. You're going to leave this on the chunkier side? Yes. Okay. And I think sometimes a food processor works a little bit better, but okay. you can get a nice product um, with the blender also as long as you pulse it. All right, so we're gonna let that cool down. All right. So with the skate, um, you can actually see um, that we have two fillets to each wing. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at this, this is the top fillet. All right. Um, and this here is the bottom. And it's usually a little bit darker. You always wanna cook it um, top side first. Why is that? 
So if you cook it on the bottom side, it actually will shrivel up on you. Okay. Because um, you have a little bit more of the connective tissue that's there, so it can kind of uh, shrink up. Interesting. Um, another thing too, we see how uh, it's very red here. Yeah. It's nice and pink and translucent. Um, skate is, is a fish that goes bad pretty quickly. Okay. Um, so it's important that you really get a fresh fish. We'll return with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the chef's kitchen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, um, and a lot of people, it's kind of like a chicken. There's a bunch of ways to, to roast a chicken. <laughs> um, this is the technique that I've kind of learned over the years. Um, so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna season this top side. Uh, here I have a little white pepper. Okay. At the restaurant we use white pepper for all the fish. Why is that? Um, just, it's a little milder. Mm -hmm. It's not too overpowering. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is season this one side. And right? how come you're just seasoning the one side? So when you cook a fish, there's a lot of moisture in it. Mm -hmm. um, and so sometimes if you season your fish before you sear it, it'll actually pull the moisture out, um, which takes away from the sear. Okay. Now we have some flour here, so it's not that big of a deal, um, but it's just something that I do as a technique and that's what we're gonna. We love yes. learning your techniques. That's great. Um, another thing, I did that pretty light. Skate is a fish that tends to take salt really well. Okay. Um, so you do want to be a Don't little go bit overboard. cautious. All right. So I've I went ahead and put um, my seasoned side down, mm -hmm. and so I'm not I'm gonna cover the flour. The salt's actually gonna make that top side the flowers stick to it a little bit better, or the bottom side in this case. Because okay, it draws the moisture right. out? Right, okay. so I'll get a better crust on the top where I've lightly see, just kind of flour this underside, hmm. all right? So now I'll let that sit for a second and we're okay. gonna come back over here. Um, and so I want my pan to be hot. Okay. Um, and then one of the things that I'll do, uh, you saw we had a little smoke coming from the pan before, so I'm just gonna add this in. And a good bit of oil, it looks yes. like. Um, a little bit more than say your normal kind of pan sear. All right. All right. And so from here, and now I always leave that side down so I always know once you flour it, it's tough to tell which one yeah. you're cooking. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, dust this off a little bit. Okay. And add this guy right in. Nice. All right. Um, okay, so here if we wanna add a little bit of cilantro to this, maybe like a tablespoon, go ahead and get it in there. About a pinch. I'll give you a pinch. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so this is one of the things we're ready. <clears throat> All right. So once, you know, it's like a lot of times at the restaurant, you know, my entremet will have the sets prepped. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, chef, you haven't cooked the fish yet. I will we'll always wait. wait to the end uh, to cook the skate just because it does go so quickly. Okay. And, and now you talk about everywhere has, uh, every stove has different hot spots. Yeah. Um, so I think it's important for me, what I'll do is I just kind of spin these guys around, right? Um, and we can see real quick, um, we're getting really nice, mm -hmm. beautiful golden brown. Um, some of the flour that comes off the pan, you can kind of see once we're starting to get that nice golden brownness yeah. to it, um, I know I'm getting close. Um, and now our oil is so hot, hot, technically right now we could, if we wanted to, we could add a little bit of um, butter to this. All right. Um, but we're gonna skip it, because we're, you know, being healthy, being healthy. this is gonna crackle. Ooh. Nice. So we just get this time in here, all right? That was cool. And I'm nice gonna come right in, and we're gonna flip this guy over. It's such a pretty piece of yeah, fish, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit, this is just some lemon juice. Okay. I'll get over the top, and as it sinks down into the oil, you'll hear it kind of crackle a little bit. Oh yeah. And it's just a nice, light seasoning. Now is this dish on the menu at the restaurant right now? Yes, it Great. is actually on the menu right now. And you change the menu up um, we change very it a lot. frequently, yeah. right? Um, and so just, um, we even, this is a really great set to do with scallops also. Nice. Um, if you add a little chorizo in there, it might be a nice oh. pork set or, um, so that's kind of <laughs> how we switch around. But this right. is part of the uh, the St. Luke's Healthy Fine Dining menu, so this exactly. will be on for a little while, yes, correct? Yes, it will. Great. All right. 
Okay, so now I think we're ready to go ahead and put this dish together. Perfect. So you're doing the plating, Doc. Tell me what it's like to be part of the St. Luke's University Health Network. It's it's fantastic. You know, I've been here for 16 years. When I showed up, uh, we were smaller. We're growing every year. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell you, the 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 culture is what counts. Yeah. We treat people like people. I've I've been I trained in New York and 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 Philadelphia and Baltimore and some great institutions, but nobody treats people like St. Luke's treats people. I mean, we 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 really we want to know your family, want to know where you come from and your background, and want to return you to that same. To the same people who right. love you. So, um, and it starts from the top down, you know, all the way up to our CEO, all the way down to the to everybody who works, even the people who come in and, and clean up the trauma bay afterwards. They take pride in their work and they want to do what's best. It's awesome. That makes all the difference in the world, yeah. right? Absolutely. Great. All right. So here we have a little of our salsa, and it's nice. You know, you can kind of just we'll add this around different places. Mm-hmm. Um, so nice and light and fresh. And then I have over here just a little, some micro radish. Um, you know, we always, it's nice. The micros kind of give you a little um, extra flavor mm -hmm. and a, a little nice, it kind of elevates nice. your food a little bit. All right. This is beautiful. Yep. Cheers. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so excited to try the skate. It's been years since I've had it. Mmm, it's so crispy. Wow. Got a little corn. The skate has it has like such a nice mellow flavor. Really, it's kind of sweet. It's I I it's feel wonderful. like it's elegant, you know? I mean, it is and it's, very much. Yeah. I'm eating more. And you've done such a nice job of preparing <laughs> it as you always do. I had no doubts. I'm gonna try a little bit of that salsa. I didn't get any That's of good. that. And mm, the corn. The tomatoes, everything comes together so nicely. It's bright, it's fresh, it's perfectly balanced. You knock it out of the park every time. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. And Doc, it's been a pleasure working with you on the show today. It's been my pleasure, thank you. Being on Chef's Kitchen is awesome. I love to come here. It's great to share my techniques uh, with an audience and guests. I don't get out of the kitchen much at the restaurant, so it's really nice to actually be able to show you what I do back there. I had a great time on Chef's Kitchen. It's always fun to represent St. Luke's and then get a good meal out of it too, so this is a great time. Thank you so much.